Yeah. The May Boys is back. The May Boys is back. Nah, bro. These niggas ain't. Good morning, world. It's your boy Johnny Jones, aka I see you filming. Coming to y'all live and direct from my home in Arizona, man. Um, it's a nice day out. Pretty cloudy. Look like the sun gonna break through. We might get a little rain. Hopefully a little winter weather. It was actually 80 the other day, bruh. And it's, it's December now. It was 80 the other day. This is crazy. <clears throat> I miss my California weather. I miss earthquakes in the town. And uh, I miss the rain, man, with the real winter. You can know when it's winter. You break out your leather coats, your pea coats, and your hoodies, and you wear them all together because it be that damn cold, and you better layer up. <laughs> get you some gloves. Get you a beanie to wear under that hoodie. Get you, uh, I don't know, a heating blanket that you can wear, a heating vest, something. It'd be cold as hell in the bay. <clears throat> anyway, that's beside the point. Um, this is another random thought. Um, and this one is about, you feel me? I feel like it's a difference between hip-hop and rap. Oh, I just got the, yeah, the bullshitters on today. My little, you know, yeah, you see it. You see it. As Weezy would say, yeah, you see it. You see it? Don't even... You see it? All right, Peter Fat Weezy, man. But I'm um, coming to y'all live and direct, man, just to uh, ask y'all opinion and give you minds. I think... I just had a conversation the other night with my partner, Familiar, and I think that it's the difference between hip-hop artists and rap artists. Um, and I say that because I think the lines is getting kind of blurred. And I, well, I know the lines are getting blurred. I've seen it from certain artists that I've known and uh, that I've come across and I've dealt with. Um, and a lot of them, you know, hip hop is, it seemed like it's, it's getting thrown around easily with music or with rappers as the label, like friend, like people say, Oh, my friend, Oh, my partner. And it's just a simple thing. Like, you know, it's probably not a friend. It's really an associate or an acquaintance, but it's just easy to say, Oh, my friend versus Oh, my acquaintance or my associate. You'd be like, yeah, a friend of mine. Yeah. You know, y'all, y'all know y'all don't hang out. Y'all don't play cards together. Y'all don't go drink together. So y'all not really friends by that, you know, definition of term, but. It's just easier to say. So I think a lot of people feel like it's easier to say, oh, I'm a hip-hop artist, or I do hip-hop, you know, versus being like, yeah, I make music. Yeah, I'm a rapper. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, like, I'm a, I'm a rapper. I'm a hip-hop artist. Like, it's, it's a definition. It's a clear definition, I think, between those. And I think we're rappers. Um, and there's nothing wrong with either one. There's nothing wrong with either one because it's all music and it's creativity. And I respect both because I listen to artists, which I consider to be in both genres. And I respect artists that are in both both genres, and I grew up on artists in both genres. So I'm not knocking nobody for being a rapper or for being a hip-hop artist or for just being an overall, you know, creative, you know, genius, a creative artist. Not at all. Not knocking anybody. Um, just giving my opinion, you know, that I've never heard anybody really clearly state that there is a difference, especially now with the times, like with it being the way it is now. There's a difference between hip-hop artists and rap artists. And, um... I think it's okay for rappers. I think rappers have more, it's more on the street side. It's more on the hood side. You know, it's a little more grimy. Um, it's, it's a message in it, but it's not, it's not like that revolutionary, you know, like come together message um, all the time. Now there are those songs and those artists that try to do that. But overall, I think that rap is more, you know, more on the street side, more on the flashy side, the girls, the cars, the money. Um, more, you know, about what's going on in the hood, like on on a on a grittier side, and um and there's nothing wrong with that, cause that's you know that's that's that real, and uh that's that's great music out there, you know, a lot of great artists over the time. I'm not gonna specify nobody right now, but a lot of great artists over time, you know, made a lot of money off of rap and made a big impact being rap artists. And as far as hip hop, um, I think that's more conscious, more conscious rap, more content in there. Talks about a lot of the same stuff, a lot of the, a lot of the street stuff, a lot of flash, a lot of women, you know. But it's just putting it in a different way, and I think overall, at the end of the day, it's more of a positive message behind hip hop music and hip hop artists. Like, if someone was to name a couple artists, you'd be like, oh, you know, yeah, they, they're conscious. That's a hip hop artist, or name somebody else, like, oh, they rap, you know. And it's nothing wrong with either. Like I said, like um, I don't know, like I would say. And some people, and some people, it, it annoys me because some people don't want to put a label on some, for whatever reason. They feel like it's limited them, limited limiting them, or whatever the case. Like, 
you are what you are. You do what you do. So, you know, be proud of that. Stand, you know, stand for that. Fly that flag and do your thing. Like, Waka Flocka, rap. He's a rap artist. He make club songs. He make street stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Waka. Whatever. That's what it is. Versus, I don't know. Let me think of classic. Like, Common or Talib or Most Def. It's more on the hip-hop side because it's more conscious. I'm telling you about, you know, what's going on in the hood or whatever, but I'm trying to get you on a different level of thinking about it. You know, like, they trying to, you know, they, they trying to elevate something. Not saying that Waka is not, you know, he definitely trying to elevate his money and get up out of the situation or whatever the case. But it's not like, you know, it's a difference in the message. It's obvious. Like, I really don't even have to explain it. It's a difference between, you know, some of the songs that an artist like Waka would make versus an artist like Common or Talib would make. You know, it's hip-hop and rap. Clear difference. So, let me know what y'all think. Hit me up with your comments, video responses, whatever. I'll take all of that. Um, and you feel me? Just, you know, just get the conversation going. Let me know what you think. Who or you know, who do you think is hip-hop? Why? Who do you think is rap? Why? You know, just a simple little convo. Um... Yeah, and that's that random thought, you know. Hip hop artist versus a rap artist. Follow me on Twitter at I see you filming. Um, check out the music. All that stuff is gonna be in the description's gonna be in the link. Or the links will be in the description. That's how you say it. The links will be in the description. You can check everything out. Um, look for everything, check out the music, check out everything I got going on. And you know, make sure you give me your opinion, your comments, share, like, and you know, just get the combo going. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Shout out to East Oakland, man. Pray for my city. It's a lot going on right now. Rest in peace to Fat Weezy. And, uh, you know, let's keep it going, man. CIE. Yeah, that's my movement, man. Confidence is everything. Let's do it. It's been too long. I moved on. Flag a taxi. So long. Here's the last page in the back seat. Trying to find the one good chick and attract me. Attempt to get away, but this life just attracts me.